we have Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Uh, I originally was not going to watch this movie. I was like, you know what? I saw the Dungeons and Dragons from like 1999 in theaters. That was enough for me. I think I got the gist of it. Uh, I've never played the game because it's for nerds. Uh, but I ended up checking it out like a month or two ago on Amazon Prime. And holy shit, this movie's great. This movie's actually pretty fucking good. Uh, what did you think, Adam? Yeah, more like Fungeons and Dragons, am I right, everyone here? It was a uh, it was a good time, Tony. I agree. I like the cast. I like the action scenes. I like the whimsy. I like the magic. I was in. Yeah, Gil. What did you think? Yeah, I liked it too. You you talked before the stream about how watching a good person reminded you what it was like to watch just normal people <laughs> without superheroes. This obviously wasn't that, but it was the first time I watched an action adventure in years. It wasn't about superheroes. <laughs> and it made me realize I miss Pirates of the Caribbean, movies yeah. like that. And it was a lot of fun. The trailer made it look like it was all going to be a big joke. There was tons of humor in the movie, but it did have a genuine story with actual characters and a lot of fun. Good time. Sarah, what did you think? Well, as someone who grew up playing Dungeons and Dragons a long, like, for <laughs> nerd. a while, I, don't, <laughs> I know. Sorry. I, I know. That out. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, I don't really play too much anymore, but I played it a lot growing up. Uh, this movie was really fun. Uh, it kind of took me back uh, to when I used to play it. It was just a really fun time, like um, Adam said, a, a lot of whimsy, and it was just it was just a fun watch. You know, it wasn't anything like I'd say it wasn't anything remarkable, but it was it was fun. It was it's a fun movie to sit down and watch. I really enjoyed it. Kaylee, you're next. Um, kind of echoing what everybody already said, I had a great time watching it. I think just like Sarah just said, in 20 years, am I going to remember this movie? Probably not. But it felt like friendship. It paid homage to the tabletop game. It paid homage to people who play that game. And it gave you the little moments where, you know, they have to pause and explain whatever the, you know, the dagger is and where it came from. But it was also accessible for people who haven't played the game. So that really made the comedy shine. I thought that the acting was great. I thought it looked great. Uh, it had a shocking amount of heart. And it just yeah. felt like friendship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sir New Year, what did you think? <laughs> it's a fun movie. I, I never played Dungeons and Dragons myself because it's a game for children. Obviously. And nerds, of course. Uh, Obviously. You know, sure. so I, I never played it. So I don't know all the fun lore behind it. But if I did play it, I would say that the plot was fantastic because it was kind of an excuse to use various set pieces from the game. Had a lot of fun with this movie. I'll, I won't remember this movie in 20 years. I won't even <laughs> remember it tomorrow, in fact. But I had a blast watching it. 1,000% would watch it again. Not by myself, of course, but with other small children. Of course. <laughs> Tony, uh, I gotta say, I, yeah. I th have nothing but disdain for Joey C. I thought he was kind of a garbage waste of life as a human. Just total oh, yeah. excrement. Yeah. But this yeah. Father Time individual or Father <laughs> New Year or whatever the hell his name no. is. I love this guy. This guy's great. This guy's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great movie. Should, yeah. Adam guys a real good guy. We should keep him around. We should keep him around. Yeah. Uh, yeah Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, again, I didn't really. I feel like I would have actually liked playing Dungeons and Dragons. I just didn't know anyone who did it. You didn't have any friends. Uh, right? Yep. No, I had friends. I had oh. friends. Okay. <laughs> uh, cool friends. Um, Manly friends. But no, I know enough <laughs> like about it. I've I've since became friends with people who did play it, and they are all loving this. Uh, Monica was on my show. My cousin Monica, her husband is like, he loved it. He thought all the, like the references were great, and there were things that I could tell were from the game, like uh, when the one wizard dude, or whoever that knight is, I forget all their names. When he's talking about like the uh, exact number of steps you have to do to go over the bridge, I'm like, all right, I feel like this is a reference to the game. This must have something to do with rolling the die. Uh, I thought that was really clever. Um, my think my I think my favorite scene, uh, besides this, of course, right. uh, I think my favorite scene Great. is when they are uh, in the graveyard trying to get answers. Yes, and they can only ask four questions, and they keep fucking up. And by like the end of the scene, <laughs> the entire graveyard is dug up trying to figure out where this one thing went. 
Um, I thought that was hilarious. I thought the cast worked together pretty well. Did not expect to see Bradley Cooper in this as a tiny man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was that was different. I Does thought his like, cameo was great. Yeah, where where did that go? Why did why was he in this? I thought that was so bizarre. Um, she likes those short kings, Michelle Rodriguez. Apparently, I will say uh, the the redhead, the girl from the It movies. I don't oh, know Sophia if any, Ellis. Yes, I don't know if anyone yeah. noticed, but like there was like one scene where I guess her leather pants weren't broken in yet, and she was walking so awkwardly behind everyone. <laughs> And it kept distracting me. I'm like, I kept watching. I'm like, that woman looks so uncomfortable right now. And I'm like, I think this must have been like the first day wearing those pants. Because <laughs> she's just kind of like stomping around in the background. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Uh, but yeah, I have really nothing bad to say about it. Uh, it's just a good time. Like you said, Gil, like, it does remind me of like Pirates of the Caribbean mm-hmm. or something. Where it's like, I don't, I know this is connected to an IP, but like, I don't. I need something other than superheroes and whatnot. I need and Star Wars. I need something like this mm-hmm. where you can kind of dive in because Dungeons and Dragons. I don't. I know there is a lore to it, but aren't aren't the games like you're making up your own story pretty much? Am I right about that? Yeah, yeah. for the most part. Yeah. Um, like set. There's like set. Um, there's kind of like a basis to everything. Okay, but for the most part, it is kind of creating. Yeah, your one. Own. Of- one of the things that you can do in Dungeons and Dragons is even though there are those set rules, just like Sarah said, one of the rules is basically you can change the rules. Um, and I think that, that yeah. this movie did a really, really good job of doing that. Yeah. So I, I think it kind of gets an automatic pass from all of the people who played the game because it doesn't matter if they followed the rules. Mm. Did, did anyone watch the original movie from the late 90s? I did a long time ago. <laughs> Oh man, Adam, did you ever see that one? I feel like you'd like that one. I didn't see it, no, but I did watch A Princess Bride for the first time ever, like three days ago. <laughs> How is that possible? I don't know. I just never first watched time? it. First did time not, ever. Did you not have a? Did you not have a cable box in the nineties, dude? Like, I don't know. I was just watching Jean Claude Van Damme movies nonstop, and I just saw <laughs> A Princess Bride. Oh it's goodness. inconceivable. But That's I saw such a it. good movie. I love that movie. Yeah, that was very fun. Oh man, you know, like for your movie roast, I would say check out the the 1999 Dungeons and Dragons. It's pretty good. Uh, I mean, no, it's not good. It's good to make fun of. It's it might be on my roast list. Someone might have recommended it already. I don't know. Well, that's good. Oh, look who's here! It's Kaylee with a less deeper voice. There she is. God damn! What's up? What's up, people? Asshole. Uh, Crystal, did you see Dungeons and Dragons? No, I'm not a nerd. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you know, <laughs> Crystal, you redeemed yourself. So <laughs> you're in the cool kids club. Um, I do like Chris Pine. This movie made me remember I like really like Chris Pine as like a leading man. I feel like I've seen him in a couple duds lately. Like what was uh? Oh God, I saw that. Um, Don't worry, darling, with Florence Pugh. Yeah. Did anyone see that shit? Yeah. yeah. It was disappointing. Uh, yeah. That was it, wild. It raised more questions than it answered toward the end. I was it like, really wait. did. Yeah, it really. I'm like, okay, we know I get this, but what was the point of that? Anyway, I had uh, to watch my own screen rant video to understand the meaning of the right? end. I wrote it. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm sorry, Crystal. Oh. This is this is <laughs> Sir New Year. Yes. He's not official Joey. That's Steve. right. I Oh, I, I was yeah. a little confused. Manly. Yes. Yeah, well, we were going to get gotcha. Baby New Year, but that wasn't manly enough. Uh, Sir New no. Year, you, you also do screen rant videos? I, I yes, uh, I I did a long, long back in my day. <laughs> also, I you're Southern now? <laughs> I don't think your characters fully realize. Hey, before it's... we started this stream, we were talking about the importance of continuity on podcasts. <laughs> that's true. Canon. That's true. That's true. <laughs> um but yeah it's a great time check it out uh it's even better if you're a nerd like sarah okay 